Well, I know by the time this video gets up, it's going to be the next day. So this is going to go on tomorrow's video. But this was last night. <laughs> okay? You follow me there? Oh, you know, I was checking my diabetic numbers just well, by the time this video is up. It's yesterday now. And uh, 157. Then I checked it at, oh, around 4 or 5 o'clock, I think it was. That was one... 63 so I'm like that's better than the 240 the 300 I was hitting so I ate some chili and had a glass of milk for supper here and I want to wait another hour or so check the numbers see what that did to me but uh, so other than the beans I have kept all the bread out of my diet today and my numbers are staying down so which is now yesterday but since this time changed, the sun's still out. It's 7 11 at night. It's 53 degrees. I'm finding a hard time to stay in the house tonight. So I'm going to go out and put that dry shaft together and have it ready to slide in tomorrow because I'm probably not going to put it in tonight. Unless I get real ambitious. I, I just, I don't know. But, uh,. Uh, so, this is the start of tomorrow's video, tonight. I haven't confused you yet. And I, I tell you right now, uh, I'll, I'll also put this out. I had somebody ask for my PayPal account, which uh, you've seen is that tidnab at netins.net. And if people do help me, or I just... Somehow or another, if I get help, it will be paid back, or it will be paid forward. Uh, I've always been one that you don't get nothing, you don't get anything in this life for free. You got to do something to get it. And I just, my work that I can do, it just, I can't figure out, well, I'm in a small town, Iowa, and I need to get out of the small town Iowa to get stuff sold evidently but uh, but in the meantime getting to that point it's rather hard so but anyway I guess I'm almost to my corner to turn and I got the bandage with the antibiotic cream on that wound from yesterday uh, it looks pretty good so I'm lucky that just stayed under the surface and then go deeper. Otherwise, yeah, I'd have a major problem, wouldn't I? So, all right. Well, we'll go out and fix this dry shaft and I'll hopefully get it back together. Boy, I'm glad I'm glad I come back to the farm because I got out here. Let's see where is it. Pasture side window was open. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right. There, my grease gun's laying. Oh, then I forgot to do, somebody requested a cold start on the old dually here. Well, temperature is dropping, so, and there's not a total grease pit now. It's stiffened up and dried out today, so, I can't remember the last time I started this thing. It's been sitting here a while. So, let's see what we got with this old girl. Turn the, that's off. I got a buzzer. Fuel pump pumped up, so. Good old Chevy. Good old Chevy. Didn't even think about it. Oh, shoot. God. The hell? What a freaking mess. Huh, really? Tractor? You too? You're gonna... Yeah, just drop it down. See guys, I got plenty of stuff to fix. Thanks. Really. I guess, haven't used her much. I've already rebuilt that once. So I have to find those seals and put some new ones in, but yeah, I got sidetracked there, didn't we? But, 
Yeah, she is dirty. That is dirty, dirty. Ah, I love a small walk. Yeah. There we go. So, yep. But I like to get the license caught up on this so I could drive her, but this truck's only got a hundred and 148,711 miles. When I got this truck, I had 131, 135,000. So. Alright. Well, she started. There you go, bud. And I can't remember your name. I'm sorry. I know I talked to you on Facebook, but there was your cold start of that nice old dually here. This old truck over here is the one that's tied up with all this other crap and as you can see it needs a well actually it needs a box the rocker panels cab corner and the rocker panel and cab corner on the passenger side otherwise for having 300 and some thousand miles on it it's not in that bad a shape so, um, I guess I gotta turn the viewer so I can see what I'm seeing. But, uh, yeah, we just gotta get her going. And I better look in the back to make sure. We just had a bad thing in our area here. Oh, grill and all that's still there. Okay. I tell you, this is telling you how bad times are getting. It's in the news that couple of days ago there was a elderly couple that he was 80 and she was 81 they went out to check on their property caught some thieves stealing scrap iron and from what we're making out of the news reports the poor couple the man was shot multiple times and they haven't released the details on how the lady was killed all they said was a horrific homicide. They got the three in custody, and I tell you, they did it over scrap steel. I mean, that's pretty sad that you're gonna murder somebody for a few hundred dollars of scrap steel. So, that's the only sad thing that's happened. Well, there's been others, and but I tell you, like the sheriff said, you, it was their own property, and you shouldn't have to worry about being safe on your own property. Like I told the wife, if I ever catch anybody out here stealing from us, after what happened with the last time, I'll just simply run them over. I'll drive through, if they're in my shop, I'll drive through the damn building, get them. I mean, it used to be some countries, if you stole, they cut. First time they cut off your one hand, second time you cut off your second hand. Then what are you going to do? Yeah, so, well, we're going to go in, work on that. Temperature, now the sun's going down, is getting, I noticed on the I was over here, see if it's still doing it. Kind of got a pretty sunset for tonight. Now it's going to be kind of a backwards video, starting out with a, oh, that, okay, that is a gorgeous sunset. That is just, I don't think it's doing it any justice in the camera, but back it out a little, but that is so cool. But, all right, I'm going to see if I can get a couple pictures. Oh, there it cleared up. There it cleared up. So, all right. Boy, am I glad I got that other camera. This camera here is getting really temperamental all of a sudden. It wouldn't focus there for me. I love Press. And I should have showed you how I cleaned it up first, but I didn't. I sit there with a pick and oops, cleaned out the retaining groove and that, and then shine that all up. But now, one problem I don't like about doing this with the
press is I can't feel it. Oops. What the heck? Everything's okay. I know, I'm nervous here, guys. Well, sound of just moved. The bearings are all in place, what the heck? Guys, uh, okay, there it just went. Sorry about taking so long. It's an impact socket. It's not a crony. I think we're there. Let me check the other side. There's that retaining I group. Yeah, I might have moved it a little, so, okay. That was uh, easier than using that uh, other tool, so. Hey, right, I'll get the snap rings, put them in, and we'll call it uh, done. So, all right. Here's another little trick I did. Sandwiched it just like it's going to be in the rear end and pre-lubed it in here. I got grease this time on all of them. So it's lubed and it better not be squeaky now. So it's dark, temperature's dropping. So I'll fit in a shot tomorrow. But I'm not sure if that camera's working like it's supposed to or not. But anyway, well, I guess this is it for last night. And good morning today for the new video. So we'll pick this up in the morning and start from there. So, all right, thanks for tonight. And see you guys here later today, which is tomorrow. So, all right, bye. Well, morning, everybody. I see YouTube's been messing with YouTube again. I don't know, it seems like every time I log on, I got to check into, log in the one account or whatever. But I see the change the way the uploads are done too it just eh, if it ain't broke don't fix it guys <laughs> but anyway yep, we're just getting up getting going I see it's a little windy out it's not as warm as was yesterday yet at this time it's according to the computer it is 37 degrees so yep we're gonna get got the medicines in and gonna get ready to head out to the farm so, all right. Ooh, so, good morning, everybody. You know, if I knew I wanted to sink the china, you guys, I know, you know, I would. But as greasy as this dirt is, I just had just put a little bit of mud I went through. I had to put it in four-wheel drive already. Oh, that would be so much fun, though. But the angle you go down, I probably drown the motor. Yeah, like I said, this is greasy, and I'm already. Spinning like crazy already right here. And throwing mud at 
<clears throat> and that was covered with grass, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's skipping school. There. What is it? You know, I, when I went to school, we never got a week off or anything for spring. We got our week, maybe a four-day weekend. These guys get about ten days off to school now. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Does that figure? But yeah, we only go to school thirteen days in March. Yeah, thirty days in the month, and they're only going to school thirteen of them. We only go. have one regular, regular week. Neighbors. But, yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to drive down the gravel road, get the mud off the tires, and I'll be back. Well, the truck's quiet. Minerva's over there playing with sawdust. Yes, she's a sawdust kid. She puts it on a funnel, then puts it back in the bottom. I don't know. She's goofy. But I'm sorry for the wind, but that's Wendy out here. I'm going to put these inside before I go. Where the hell's my keys? Uh. Anyway, what I'm kind of thinking about doing, I'll stand up here out of. I want to start the dually, move that out of the way. Since I got the tractor running, I might roll that Camaro up here where the dually's sitting, or even up here closer, and maybe start stripping the thing down and taking the scrap off and throwing it in the. Ah, oh, I even got the wagon over there. I don't know. Got ideas, but uh, yeah. Took the H and graded off the driveway. Got rid of my ruts. I had lots of ruts. Bad ruts. Got her laying smooth now, so. Alright, well, I'm gonna start this, move it, and figure out the next step. Okay, progress report. Got seats, plastic interior, which most of that I was that's what I was really after the most. Got that. Wait, I'm getting ready to roll this thing up on its side. So the crystal. Come here. Alright. Guys, look at that. <laughs> huh. Here's what a Camaro looks like on its side. Yeek. Look at all that junk. And then if anybody's been questioning why I didn't fix this car. Oh, there's a, another cap. Is. Look at that. Bumped the gas tank and it's leaking today. There is nothing left to this thing. Brake line. Look at that. That's floorboard. That's carpet right there. Wow. What a mess. Yeah, she's been over there. She. Trying to make a little teepee or so around the tree over there. But yeah, 
Now is when I wish I had my cutting torch. So I want to save the subframe off this car. And uh, that, so I guess she is rotten. I mean, the driver's side, that's pushed up in inside the car. That has. Huh, look at this. Just realized that spring's broke. So the spring's ain't it. Look at that. Huh. So, yep. Guess I don't have a spare gas tank after all. She's pretty rotten. There's just nothing left of this car. Nothing. Wow. Wow. I just can't believe. But anyway, I guess uh, that's. We'll get the subframe and that off and probably save the rear end itself. Hope there's. So. But I'm going to have to get Mr. Leaky Rusty, which I, uh, it's not going to take much to get the gas tank out of this. That's some. Um, looks like somebody put. Yeah, that's supposed to be right there. Jesus. Oh, then that goes into there. See, that's ripped out of there, too. Sorry if I ain't got this all pointed for you guys. I keep forgetting that once in a while, don't I? So, I was going to say the tail lights, but they're cracked. They've been in the sun so long, they're cracked and broke. So, all right, well, I guess when I'm done with this car, I'm going to have her all cut up too. So, I got to get the dash out of this, and then the doors, so I got the workings. And then we'll be ready to go. All right. Recording? Yep. All right, well, got that bolt, that bolt out. That one, I think, ripped out. I want to see what happens with this one. Three out of four. Yeah. Oh. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get the front end of the flop off. Stop recording.
Finger cut is where it took the teeth right off the blades. Okay, I'll go find another one. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. You bent your blade. And took the teeth off that one too. Okay. Well. Being through. Okay, now don't stand too close. You gotta stand back, sweetie. That's uh. Okay. Let's see if we can. That ain't steering shaft. Stay right where you're at. We should get it, guys. Gals. Okay, we're watching it. Yeah. There it goes. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, all right. Hey, if I don't make anything out of it, I see an engine test stand. Yeah. Cool. Car just got a little smaller. I got something in my mouth. Can't believe it. That was a hell of a bolt there. So, all right. Guess what, guys? Let's see. No, it's not. Oh, I thought it was. No, nope, I didn't think so. Thought I had a pause rear end, but it's not. That's just a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bolt. Ten bolt rear end, so I think I gotta figure out how to get that out before I set it back upright. Because then after I set it upright, I think I wanna set it on my car trailer over there and finish tearing it apart so so all right kind of waited a little too long I don't know if they'll show up or not there's geese up there they flew right over okay let's start the resto now <laughs> Uh, anybody got another car? Look at that. That's completely gone. All that's gone. Hell, that ain't even there. It's just gone. Uh, trunk's gone. Yeah, it wouldn't make a good car. Sheet metal ain't even good to hang on a roll cage. Since the springs are rusted and broke, I just cut through the spring. Cordless tools are wonder, but there's the rear end. I mean, there's what's left of the floor and that, so now I'll get the bucket cleaned up and get a chain in there and set this stuff off somewhere and try to think of what we could make out of this subframe, guys. Or if somebody wants a commercial subframe. 78, there you go. It's not rusted out. Disassemble that thing and 
repainting that, you'd have a brand new front end. So, well, I'm going to make sure I got my tools picked up, see if I can get this where I can uh, lift her up and put her on the trailer. And I won't be working on the ground. So, all right. All right, guys, I know I'm going to regret this, but everything's off underneath. It's time to upright this old dirty pig. So, let's see. There you go! Oh! Okay, I put a little too much shoulder into it. Still recording? Still recording? Yeah. So, yep. She is. Come on. Look, come here. Door's still open. Look at all that crap that fell to this side of the car. Ain't that gross? So, well, still shuts like a new one. <laughs> Wouldn't make hell of a door for somebody for a race car. So, oops, sorry. But yep, there's the subframe. Almost got it right in the bucket. Just now I'll figure out how to put a chain on it and go sit it on the trailer so all right well do you guys think that back window will come out in one piece all that's holding it right now is from here into there otherwise 90 percent of that window is loose so hoping it's pulling loose more i've just got constant pressure on it and then it's pulling loose from that rubber so, it'd be cool if I get that out in one piece. Then I'll make it easier to put it on the trailer because then I can wrap the chain around here and load it. Oh, I think she might have come loose. It's coming, guys. Oh, Be careful. Yeah, especially now this part. Are you gonna put that in the other one? I mean, you guys were saying, nope, that's not coming out in one piece. There it is. Back window for a 78 Camaro. Now, it's not the rest before it gets away. Stop recording? Yeah, go ahead and stop. I am! Well, hopefully this works, boys. Girls. <laughs>
like it. The door! Yeah, back up a little. Because of the door. Yeah. You got the fender stuck. trailer. I still got the dash, driver's seat, console, and the wiring harness to get out of there. And the two doors because I got, I'll just keep the whole dang doors or if I get time I'll strip them. Got to find a place to, but I think I'm going to put those with the car. That stuff I don't know. It's so mousy smelly it wouldn't hurt if it got rained on once or something. Uh, yeah, but the back window did come out in one piece. It's still one piece. Some frames there and no rearing right there. So, yeah. Anyway, well, I guess. And uh, I got to make sure I got everything picked up. So, yeah, we've done a little something today. More work on the Camaro. Getting more parts. I mean, I just walked over and looked at the red one. If I had that motor in hand and rebuilt, we'd be putting that in there. So, all right. And by the way, I better check my numbers. And I even had the windows open and the vehicles to air them out once. They've been cooped up all winter. Well, guys, I didn't realize it was getting that late. Well, it's not late, but I kind of liked having the video up and early and done last night, so. Well, as you can see, we got the Camaro tore apart, or almost all the way tore apart. I uh, had to put some mouse poison in the Camaro I'm trying to fix, putting stuff in, one ran around in there. No interior in there, but they're still living in there, you can go figure. So, well, I guess we'll call it quits for tonight and see what tomorrow brings. Today's been a pretty dang good day. We got the, the squeaky U-joint taken care of on that. Uh, that thing's just dirty and needs a bath. And I got to spend the day with one of my daughters, so. Well, you guys all take care, and hopefully I'm in the screen. I can't see that. That's the only downfall to these cameras. So, see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Today was better, like everybody said. So, take her easy.